All of the ropes are frozen. The plank is covered in ice. Welcome to Cruising Alba. We invite you to join us on our adventure living off grid and traveling the UK Canal Network. I'm Miles. And I'm Marina. We've been on Kennet and Avon Canal since October slowly making our way west, when we are allowed to travel. In December, we took a short break from filming, as we were going pretty much non-stop since March. It gave us the time to bridge the gap between our videos and the present moment. Still following our original plan to get to Bath this winter, we find ourselves in Honey Street, after the second lockdown. We are aiming to cross yet another barrier of winter closures, standing between us and our destination. The white horses are chalk heel carvings. They are an iconic landmark of wheelchair. There are eight of them left in this county, and some date back as far as 250 years. Welcome to the coldest cruise we've had, we've ever done. It is meant to snow today though. So we, you might see some snow, who well, knows? We're hoping for snow, we've not had snow before have we? Not here, no. Today we're going to Devizes. We are in what's called a long pool, so there's not going to be any locks for quite a few miles. No, it's about 2 hours and 40 minutes apparently, um, and we are currently at Honey Street. Yes. So the grand plan is to get to Devizes today, and tomorrow we're doing the flight. How many locks are in the flight? Many locks. A lock a lock. A lot of locks. Shall we, shall we get cracking? Yeah, Do you guys want to undo the pegs? <laughs> That'd be nice. Yeah. All of this is apparently eight pounds. We're only just trying trying out the heat locks. part of Kene that we've seen so far so you have to have wellies in order to get anywhere had an adventure getting off the bank because the wind was blowing in us into the bank but it was really shallow so we kept pushing the front of the back but with different strength, so we kept ended up on the bank. But luckily, we're now ready to cruise. I dare you dig a little deeper, it makes you feel a little stronger. Who knows what you may find? You'll see in your own time, it might just take a little longer. It all goes by so slowly Ooh, you waited your whole life Your days turn into nights Now let the river flow Deep into the ocean all the time you go You are moving with emotion Let the river flow Can you hear it whisper? It goes by so slow like a solitary drifter How dare you run a little faster One step, you are on your way now Embrace all your weakness Therein lies the secret The water's never gonna drain out is pointing the boat slightly 
slightly diagonally and then always kind of end up like this it's because of the wind so we've been compensating the whole time pull back so there's a very small landing there's a, a swing or lift bridge here so we almost just need to hover in a spot oh you're doing quite well at that um have you noticed it doesn't feel windy but the boats are just being pushed to that side so cold it's crazy this hat is not warm enough so i'm gonna swap it knit something that is double layered for today much better pretty cold today it's already snowed while well, we're getting ready we've got 29 locks on the schedule going through Cairn Hill uh, flight small correction here it's Cane Hill and we're going with our friends so we are going to try and tie two boats together see how that works um, hopefully that will save us some time All of the ropes are frozen. The plank is covered in ice. 29 locks, hey? 29 locks. I've not done the locks since October. I'm quite excited. Ropes for frozen, it's really hard to tie knots. <sighs> we are doing the flight in tandem with our friend Zoe on Marigold. And this time she has some help. You might remember Yellow from episode 26 and that we mentioned that it was a truly life changing weekend. After staying on Alba, Yellow and Zoe both ended up buying boats. Some call Cane Hill Flight a rite of passage for boaters. And these two are going to get their fair share of boat handling in one day. 
first we wanted to tie two boats together going through the flight, but this idea stayed in the ether. Our previous daily block record is 23 and today we are going to raise the bar to 29. There are 16 locks in a row really close to each other coming out. Really excited, I've never done a flight before. And the weather is great, it's still a bit cold and we're still some ice on the ground but I'm hoping that it will melt very shortly. Welcome to the most epic day of baiting. Cane Hill is one of the longest continuous flights of locks in the country. A total of 29 locks with a rise of 72 meters over 2 miles. These logs were completed in 1810 and were the final element of the canal link between Bristol and London. The 16 locks in the middle form the steepest part of the flight. They are a scheduled ancient monument and the challenge to every boater. Although with 4 pairs of hands it feels pretty easy. I just saw a boat coming up the flight, so hopefully all of the locks are now going to be set in our favour. Where are you going? This is one of those cruising days when I need to change multiple times. My feet are completely soaked just after an hour or two of wearing trainers. I'm changing into wellies, but I need to be careful as they don't have much grip. Until we hit the morning And then we do it all over again We pass the reds, ignore the warnings Ignore the warnings I've let you take my breath In 2010, British Waterways installed new lock gates on the flight. The wood from the old gates was donated to Glastonbury Festival and used to build a new bridge which was named in honour of one of the festival's founders. The moment we've all been waiting for. We are lucky to be sharing lock duties today so we can actually film the journey. Let me know you want it With you I can breathe There go so deep Let me know, let me know Cause I can't lie Let me know, let me know Cause I need you Right? Yeah Adventure day So we've done, six, uh, we've done 10 locks out of 16 of the flight Flying all around, some fall and hit 
it's raining pretty heavy now. We're glad that we don't have many locks left to do. Um, in a few locks there should be a pound where we can stop and have lunch, have a little break, and then we'll finish the flight. Cara Machita. <clears throat> that blusher works well. <laughs> We've just um, had a break, um, had a quick lunch, had a sandwich each, warmed up. We both look really rosy. Mm -hmm. um, there is about an hour of sunlight left, so we just need to jump out and finish off a few more locks. We've done 20 locks. So do we need another to do another nine? Eight or nine, yeah. Can we stop somewhere in between or is it like four? I don't think we got a choice. Of course we'll be stopping somewhere. Okay. Sorry, I've gone all West Country. Adding extra layers. I've got an extra layer at the top and I've got an extra layer on the bottom because it's getting really cold now and we've been outside all day so I don't think we're going to warm up in the next couple of hours. Because of the volume of water that is needed for the locks to operate, there is a pump that returns 32 million litres of water per day to the top of the flight, which is equivalent of one lock full every 11 minutes. This is a penal penultimate home, penultimate block of the day. One more to go. The last two locks were a bit of a blur. I think we went to what is called the zone and managed to safely moor up at the bottom of the flight just as it got dark. We did it! In the next episode, Winter Wonderland continues. Canal freezes and we make a hole in the bottom of our dinghy. Thank you so much for watching to the end. Give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already to follow the adventure with us. Extra special thanks to our Patreon family for supporting these videos. If you would like to get these episodes early and see bonus content, join us on Patreon. We've been having a lot of fun talking to everyone there. See you in the next one.